Hi, Mark here from Best Home Planetarium and I had a few questions about the Bliss Lights app. So the Bliss Lights is a cool little star nebula projector which you can see on the screen now and a few people wanted to just understand the app a little bit more. So you can see the app on screen. I've got this just on a, a general setting. You can see it's fading in and out, stars are on, nebula's on. The first thing I want to show you you go to controls so under the control section you can stop the rotation you can stop the fading and if you want you can even turn off the laser which represents the stars so it's doing this over Bluetooth with the projector and we can also set it to slightly lower if you want low medium and high brightness I'll leave it on high you can also turn off specific colors so if you just want a red projection there you go and the room itself has gone very red as well let's turn the rest back on so if you just want a static nebula that's very easy to do just turn off the rotation turn off the fading if you don't like the stars the little laser dots which they're okay my cat likes them but you know up to you turn those off as well now at the top, this picture you can see here is preset uh, designs, if you like. So you can see stars against nebula. If I tap that, it'll load up those settings, fading. And basically it's adjusting the controls I've just shown you to these presets. So we can just have it on stars, which is giant grid, just on the nebula. To give it a more ocean view so if you want to make your own up you just head to DIY and if you didn't want it rotating you can turn that off and we can turn the stars down if you just want the nebula they'll then probably take a photo so you know what it looks like there we go and then you can give it a name movement you've got a timer function and that allows you to set it to turn off after a certain number of hours so you can see one all the way up to 24. There's no clock on this though. There's no way of telling time. So you can't ask it to go off at 10 p.m. For example, you can't ask it to come on at, uh, I don't know, 7 p.m. to wake you up. Unfortunately, that means you're gonna have to calculate whatever time it is now. And you're gonna have to go, right, I want it coming on in seven hours, for example. Know that this is one of the few projectors I've seen that does allow you to keep it on for 24 hours. So if you did want to leave it on for a long duration, you could do so. Effect cycle, pretty much self-explanatory. We can turn on the effect cycle and you can have the effect duration. Let's say that's 10 seconds so you can see them. Say save. So you can see it's cycling through these effects at the top. We're on the stars one I showed you earlier. So stars, then it'll go nebula, ocean, space, sunrise, so on and so forth. You think on and off. So there we go, on and off. And that's pretty much it. So if you've got any questions, leave them below. I'll try and do my best to answer them. And if you haven't already, please hit subscribe.